the Cowboys. We're now joined by Lane Garrison. 12 Mighty Orphans. I saw the uh, I saw the trailer. We played it earlier this week as well. The movie comes out in June. It's a spectacular movie with Martin Sheen, with Robert Duvall, and, and also with Luke Wilson, and with Lane Garrison, who joins us on Sikkim 365 Radio. Lane, I saw you at the banquet. I know I couldn't get a chance to get over to you. This movie, I read the book when it came out. I know Jim Dent. I know about Jim Dent. I also know he's a great writer. How did all this start coming about and your thoughts about being involved in the movie? Well, first off, Sikkim, David, how are you? Good afternoon, everybody. Um, yeah, for me, you know, this was a, uh, a godsend project. Uh, to give you a quick backstory, yes, Jim Dent is a fantastic writer. Um, and reading the book, I, you know, you can only pray that you can do, do it justice when you make a movie. And uh, we also plan on turning, you know, what was written in the book into a TV series and a show because Rusty Russell was at the Masonic home for over 16 years. Obviously, we can't show that on film. But long story short, um, you know, people have been trying to make this movie for years. And the rights kept going from one person to the next person to actually Rusty Russell, who is played by Luke Wilson, to Rusty Russell's grandson, Russ Morton. And um, he had seen The Iron Orchard, which was my last film that I did with the filmmaker and director, Ty Roberts. And we ended up getting the right from him and, and his group of people. And um, it came to us that way. And we just we had just finished doing The Iron Orchard, Ty Roberts and myself. And I was sent this story. And, you know, I grew up in Dallas. I went to J.J. Pierce played football my whole life and uh, that was my first dream before acting or anything and I also lost my parents when I was younger so I'm an orphan kid who used football as an escape and uh, as a way to teach me discipline and bonding and everything else so for me I was one of the 12 body orphans I was one of these kids and I'm just fortunate enough that I got to uh co-write the script with Ty and uh, make this movie, which, by the way, is fantastic. It is a feel-good, inspiring film without it being hokey. It is down and dirty. My wife already saw it. She cried five times, and um, that just gave me a good sign that we've got a, a great, great film on our hands. Lane, I uh, I really enjoy when you make Texas movies with Texas actors. And I, I probably feel that way if yeah. it's a Georgia movie or whatever, but Luke Wilson is a Texan. Robert Duvall isn't technically a Texan, but he was in Lonesome Dove, so he might as well be. Uh, you know, and yeah. and you have people in the movie who who kind of understand Texas. Does that make it easier when you're trying to convey the story a, a, as you want it to be yeah. told on film? Yeah, so, I mean, part of me, you know, I spent... 20 years in La La Land, as I call it, Los Angeles. And part of moving back here was with the Iron Orchard. And after that experience, um, wanting to make movies in Texas that were Texas-based with international appeal with a Texas crew, um, there was something about it. You know, we don't have the big tax incentives. And Oklahoma, New Mexico, all these other states trying to lure us away from making this movie somewhere else and we didn't want to do it because as you know Texans have the greatest spirit and heart and what we didn't get in tax incentives we got when people open up their doors and their land and the mayor of Fort Worth uh, Betsy Price I mean the amount of favors we got we would never get that in any other state and so shooting it here where the story actually took place brings that authenticity to the to the film that you can't get and it's great for the actors which by the way most of the mighty mites the boys we cast are local based texas boys and they do a fantastic job i hope this is a springboard for their careers and a launching pad you know, one of the things, Lane, that also makes this important anywhere in the state of Texas is, of course, the love of football, Friday night lights, and all of that stuff, all the history, tradition. But where we are here in Waco in Central Texas and, and into the West Texas area, 
There are numerous six-man football teams around the Waco area, around this area, with Abbott or uh, Iredell or, uh, or, excuse me, uh, Aquila. Uh, there's just tons of them, now, private schools and public schools as well. Uh, and, and your thoughts about the, 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 the Masonic home and, and just what this means to the history of those who are involved. I, I knew a, someone that used to play there. He's passed away, and I know what this, meant, what this meant to him, the movie being made. What do you think it means to them? Well, I got to see it firsthand because we shot in Fort Worth, you know, where the Masonic home was based. And we had a lot of the old Mighty Might and um, some of the, the wives that were still alive there to be extras and talking to them and watching the community that knew the story or it was somebody's grandparents be impacted. I think it's got a huge impact, um, not just for the state, just for football in general, I, you know, you talk about six-man football, and I grew up in the era where in the offseason I was part of, you know, seven-on-seven seven leagues. I was a receiver, and that's what you did from June, July, and part of August. You were part of a seven-man team, and I think it doesn't matter whether you have a six-man squad or a full squad. Um, there's something amazing about the game that teaches you to be disciplined, it teaches you goals, it teaches you drive, it gives you even compassion and friendship and everything that it taught me and why when it was hard, I honestly came from football and you know it now, you know, there's such a negative stigma with the game and concussions and oh, it's violent and everything else. Well, yeah, that, that gets a lot of attention, but what doesn't get a lot of attention is all the positive stories that come out of football and we saw that the other night I don't know if you were crying, but me and my wife were crying with some of those stories of those young men and those coaches mm -hmm. and those young men that will go on and change other young men's lives. And, you know, I leaned over to my wife and after the story about the Liberty Hill coach yeah. passing for cancer, and I, I had a tear in my eye, and I heard that young man talking about his coach and what he taught him. And I said to my wife, I have two daughters. I said, this is exactly why we have to have a son and why he has to play football <laughs> because of those life yeah. lessons right there. Yeah. And, you know, I think six man football is great. Like it's, it's invaluable. Hey, it's also harder. I mean, when you've got to rally around six guys, man, and, and buckle up and make it happen. I mean, uh, my hat's off to him. So I just, I've had an affinity for the game. Uh, you know, we were there to honor Danny Amendola as well, who's one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And I've been fortunate enough. I've, I've trained with him in the off season, um, and Edelman with Gronk with some amazing quarterbacks. We, you know, in the off season, I get to throw with Baker Mayfield and um, and play with Garrett Wilson, all these guys, and get out there. And to me, the love of the game is still burns deep in me. So. I'm so happy that both of my world acting and writing um, and my love for football kind of collided on this one. All right. What's more intimidating practicing with Edelman and Gronk or when Robert Duvall shows up on set and you've got to, <laughs> you've got to kind of look yeah. down the barrel of, of, of you know, of Gus there of, of all the, you know, of all those movies he's done and be like, all right, well, I get to kind of tell him what to do here. Well, you know, what's funny is, um, they're both equally nerve wracking. Um, I remember going out with, uh, Danny and Colt McCoy, uh, one day we were training, this was two summers ago and running a speed out for him where Colt damn near depleted me and being so nervous just to run that. And it's that same nervousness that I felt when Duvall came on set, literally a living legend. And all these people were afraid to talk to him. They're like, don't talk to him. I don't know. I've heard stories. Don't talk to this man. And yeah, and I was sat over there so nervous. And I just thought, what, what do I have to leave? I, I'm like, I've got to talk to, I want to meet this guy. He's in my film and he's a legend. And he couldn't have been more nice. Um, and he signed a bunch of posters and stuff for me and some buddies and books. And what an honor it is to have him in the film. And he reunites with Martin Sheen in our movie. And they hadn't been together since Apocalypse Now. Oh, wow. So wow. that was a really, yeah. They had not been together, seen each other, or been on camera. 
since Apocalypse Now. And I had to sit back and pinch myself um, going, uh, actually, Mike DeLuca, the big you know movie producer, is a producer on this, leaned over to me and said, pretty cool that uh, you wrote a movie that pairs these two up. He's like, this is movie magic happening right now. And he's like, you know, and it, and it is surreal. But I would like to say one other thing. Luke Wilson plays Rusty Russell, and I've told him this to his face. This is the best thing he's ever done. It's the most lines he's had in a film. It's the most big character he's ever been in a film. And he absolutely crushes it. And, you know, our buddy Jim Dent uh, mm-hmm. is going to be proud. He's going to be proud of Luke for this one. Well, and he, he, he yeah, God bless Jim, you know, and, and he's been through his ups and downs, as you know. And, and I, I guarantee you, because uh, I remember when the book came out and I had him on a show that I used to host as well uh, back in the day. And uh, he's an incredible yeah. writer. It's great that this is the opportunity to be able to kind of highlight the book as well and also the movie. Uh, Lane, uh, we, we want to stay in touch. I, I know that's going to be released sometime in June. I just tweeted out the trailer again. We showed it yesterday yeah. as well. Um, can you believe it? Do you have to kind of pinch yourself a little bit? Yeah, I mean, after a crazy year for everybody, what a timely story to, um, you know, these boys inspired the nation. I hope the film inspires the nation that, you know, through teamwork and belief, self-belief, we can overcome all obstacles. But really quickly, the plug is June 11th, it opens across all of Texas, okay? June 11th, and theaters here. June 18th, uh, Father's Day weekend across the, the nation from there. So we're starting in Texas. Sony Pictures Classic uh, is releasing the film, and uh, they've just got an, a wonderful track record with great movies. This is their first sports film to get behind, so that says something. And uh, June 11th, it is worth getting back out and seeing this thing on the big screen. Thank you, Lane. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Congrats. Great to see you at the banquet. And you're right, what Coach Walker said about his brother uh, at Liberty Hill was something that you could hear a pin drop in that room, no question about it. And that's what also is the heart and soul of Texas high school football and playing in athletics. Thanks. Thank you for your time. We appreciate you, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Lane Garrison, 12 Mighty Orphans. I'm going to tweet. I just tweeted out the link again to the trailer, and we showed that earlier in the week. It is going to be an amazing movie. All right. Nikki Collin is done with her press conference. Break here and come back with our conversation. Yep. When we come back, Nikki Collin, Sikkim 365 Radio, before we take the break. Craig? Oh, no. I was going to chime in uh, and say that it appears a lot of people who maybe were a little unsure or whatever, you know, no surprise. You actually keep your eyes and ears open and you kind of give somebody some time and Sure enough, a lot of people, maybe not everybody who's been down, but a lot of people, wow, I'm blown away. Wow, I love her. Wow, she's great. Wow, she's way better than I thought. So, you know, kind of like I was saying yesterday, give people a chance. And doesn't mean she's going to be, you know, a national champion anytime soon, but uh, I think she's made a good impression today. It's almost as if Mac Rhodes is not on his first day on the job. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. When we come back, that's a great point. A lot of things to get to. A lot of you are asking us about when it's going to run. It's next. Nikki Collin, Baylor women's basketball coach, is next on Sikkim 365 Radio. Hey, this is Bryce Petty, former starting quarterback and two-time Big 12 champion. And I know firsthand the importance of being in top shape both on and off the field. So listen up, men. If you're feeling beat down day in and day out and looking for that high-performance edge that separates the men from the boys, then look no further than the Petty Clinic Low T in Waco. Petty Clinic is a comprehensive men's health care clinic with an atmosphere catering to men. Board-certified Dr. Kent Petty has a special interest in offering the highest quality medical care to men of all ages. Some of the services offered include screening and treatment for low testosterone or thyroid, infertility, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, while offering comprehensive wellness exams and complete men's health lab panels. High performance men, remember, it's not just a petty thing. This is Bryce Petty encouraging you to reach out and Google search Petty Clinic Low T or go to PettyClinicLowT.com and get your complimentary lab screening today. 
from the first workout to the last practice, sports is an incredible and rewarding challenge. Hi, this is Dan Ingham with the First National Bank of Central Texas, and we're proud to support each athlete, every parent, and our educators. From families, small businesses, to the biggest industry, we're here to help. With remarkable products like our free First Mobile app, we've got banking ideas that fuel big dreams. That's the First National Bank of Central Texas, familiar faces making local decisions. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. At Ideal MRI, we feel blessed to be a part of the Waco community. We're a small family business right here in Central Texas, and our goal is to bring down the cost of health care while maintaining high quality. At times like this, the cost of health care has never been more important, and unfortunately, significant illnesses and injuries. 